video, we are going to focus on how to type out mathematical equations into Excel. Uh, sorry, typing out mathematics in Microsoft Word. It's a little different. Um, we were forgiving in year seven with the formatting, but this year we need to step up our game so that's looking more proper, like high school standard. So to uh, you know how to find the equation editor, we go insert, go all the way down the side here, and we go to equation. And you can start typing it out. It automatically puts us in the center uh, and we're going to fix that in a moment. So here I'm going to type out a basic equation, let's say 3x plus 10 equals 2. And if I hit enter or if I click outside of there, I escape from the equation editor. So if I start typing in more stuff, it just turns into ordinary text. Oops, I somehow ruined it. There we go, enter. Here I'm going to go insert. So I'm doing my line by line mathematical working. So here I'm going to try to solve for x. I'm going to take away 10 from both sides. That leaves us with 3x equals negative 8. Enter one more line. Insert equation. x is equal to... Now it would be 8, negative 8 divided by 3. So that's going to be fractions. So I go up here. I could do it two different ways. So here's method 1. Negative 8 slash 3. That slash represents a division. Once I hit enter, it'll change it to a fraction for me. But notice how it moves the negative sign away from the 8. That is mathematically true, and that's mathematically the same answer. But if you wanted that negative sign to be up there, the alternative to do that is to go up here and click on, I have to make sure equation tab is activated as well. Hit fraction, I'm gonna pick this one, and I'd make sure negative eight is up here and three is down there, and I can escape from there. So we need to clean this up a little bit more. And the way we're gonna do this is we, we typically, when we write in our books, these equal signs are lined up vertically above each other. So we can achieve that by selecting all of my rows of equations, and then I'm going to right click on them. And it's a little different on the Mac. It says equation alignment. If you're on the PC, Windows, um, it looks something different, but it might just say align something. Do that, and now all the equal signs are lined up. It's almost perfect. Um, something that bothers me is that it looks a little crowded, uh, particularly with these eights right above each other. So I would like to introduce a little bit of spacing between them all. So I'm gonna go up to here to the Home tab and across to about here, we can change the line spacing to one and a half. And to me, that looks a little bit bad. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is how to sort of input an equation. So let's say if I'm doing um, area calculation for a circle, so I've got A equals Hmm. Now, the, you know it's pi r squared, so we need to find a pi symbol. Up here, there's a bunch of different symbols I can use. So if I hit the sideways arrow, it can move me across, and I start to see the Greek letters of the alphabet here. So there's the pi symbol, so I can click on that. Type in the letter r, and I want to put r squared. Now, to show squared, I've got two ways. One is the shortcut, and one is the long way. So if I go up to here, it says script. See how it's something to the power of x? So I could use that, and the R would go in that position, and the, and the power two would go in that position. So I need to, I've got a couple of R's that I need to remove. That's one method. The other method, which is a little bit faster, you can go R to the power of two. So this, this key is what, what you get when you do shift six on the keyboard. It's the symbol we use to mean to the power of. As soon as I hit enter, it'll interpret that to a power two. I'm going to show my substitution steps. So I'm gonna do one more equation. I'm gonna put equal sign. I want the pi symbol again, so I'm up here looking for the symbol. There it is. R, I wanna substitute it in. So I wanna pick the number four, and then I want to put that to the power of, whoops, four, and then power it to the two. And for fun, I'm just gonna change the four into a red color just to show that I'm doing a substitution a little bit more, you know, explicitly. And I can select this one for the row above, make that a red color as well if I wanted to. Ooh, that didn't work. Oh, there we go. And the last line, I'm gonna have the result. So I'm gonna go insert equation equals, I think on my calculator here, it's gonna be pi times four squared. And if I round the answer, I get 50.27. And here's what I want you to be aware of, and this is where we were very forgiving in year seven maths, but we need to, we need to do better in year eight maths, is 
um, when you write the units. Now, this should be um, centimeters squared, but can you see these are actually mathematical letters instead of, you know, text letters? So to fix that, I go up to here in my menu bar. While I still have equation editor open, I go up to here and I can see a button here that says AB text. If I click it, if I click it correctly, it should go solid, meaning it's activated. So everything I type right now should be ordinary letters. And I want to do the power of two on the very end, so I want to deactivate it now, turn it off. And so now I've got uh, power of two. There we go. One last time, let's line these up. So I'm going to select my rows, right click, equation alignment, and that should be perfect. That, that concludes roughly how to do equation editor in Microsoft Word.